bourbon is special in that it has a lot of additional rules. Uh, it has to be made in the U.S. and it has to be aged in new barrels. So that's what gives bourbon a lot of its uh, real spicy flavor, its real, uh, its power. I guess the big question is, why is bourbon so hot right now? I think a lot of it has to do with the general trend toward authenticity. In the 60s and 70s and 80s, when, when bourbon and, and whiskey in general dropped out, it was because the baby boomers were switching to lighter drinks, things that had sort of a, a healthy sort of image to them. And it's no coincidence, you know, their children are reacting against that and saying, well, let's do something other than what mom and dad did. And they're turning back to the things their grandparents drank. And what part of bourbon or what part of the bourbon market is particularly hot? Well, what's, what's really interesting is that uh, the growth at the low end, uh, sort of bottles that retail up to $15, has been fairly stagnant. The real growth has been at the, uh, what they call the super premium level, which uh, is $30 or more. So starting off with your Maker's Mark and going through Woodford Reserve and you know, on up to Michter's and, and through to you know, the name everyone knows these days, Pappy Van Winkle. You mentioned Jim Beam. They were just acquired by Suntory, a Japanese company, for what, 16 billion? Right. I mean, so there's big money chasing these bourbons now. There is, there is. The Beam was always seen as a, as a great buy, uh, that some company was going to come along right. because they had these wonderful assets. I think that there will probably be a correction at some point. I mean, right now what we're seeing is an incredible amount of demand for a limited amount of supply. The distilleries are, are scrambling to turn out everything that they have that is older than four years. And until the stuff that they're putting away now gets to an age, I think consumers are going to start to think it's a fad and they'll turn away, uh, but they'll come back when this new level of production, this new sort of wave of production that's going into barrels now, hits the market.